Hi everyone. I'm back for another video and today I'm going to fix some spaghetti and hamburger. I'm going to pour a little oil into my water and that is so the macaroni well I'm making macaroni and hamburger. That's so the macaroni won't stick together. Now, I'm fixing some elbow macaroni and scrambled hamburger. Now, I already put some onion powder and some Creole seasoning into my hamburger. I was beginning to cook it on a very low fire, and I thought to myself, wait a minute, what am I doing? Let me video tape it. Someone likes, someone's going to like this recipe. I know I do. I know I have for years. Okay. Stir that up a little bit. Now I'm going to Put me some garlic powder in it. Uh, a moto -moto. Honey, we're one about a, ta a teaspoon in it. Waiting on the fire to for this, to heat up. It's real simple, real easy, and it's delicious. And my ingredients is again elbow macaroni, tomato paste, and scrambled ground beef. And you can season it to your own taste. Me. When it's done, I like to put a little margarine in it. But once this ground beef is fully cooked, I'm going to add the tomato paste to it, make it like a like a spaghetti sauce. And then when they when everything's done, I combine them together. So when this is done. I'll be back to show you the final, final version of my ground beef and macaroni. I'll be back. Okay, my macaroni is done. I'm going to turn the fryer off. And over here in the sink. I got a, a strainer. I'm going to strain this water off. And I'm going to rinse it off with cold water. I drank the fat off as much as I could. And now I'm going to put in the tomato paste. Now remember, when I was cooking the, when I was scrambling the ground beef, I 
put this I put this seasoning in there. Now, I'm going to put in, I always eyeball it, but I'm, I'm going to use another eye, a bigger eye. I always eyeball it, and I put some water in it, maybe, maybe three quarters of a cup of water. And mix it in good. Okay. Mix it in good. And not all the time. Sometimes I sprinkle a little taco seasoning. A little taco seasoning. And remember, the meat was already done. I like to bring it to a semi-boil, you know, let it simmer loudly like it's starting to do. Put some heat to the tomato paste so it'll be a smooth taste to it. And as you can tell, it's about ready. Can you see it trying to bubble? Or can you hear it sizzle? It's ready. Now what I'm going to do is pour it into my macaroni. There we go. And I'm going to stir it. Mix it together very well. Boy, I tell you, when I learned how to make this real good, hmm, with nine kids, this recipe is very good because it's filling and they love it. Now for the taste test. Ouch. I, you know what, we're going to give it a, a bit of a twist. You can also, you can also use cheese. This is a blend. Now, again, do it according to your taste, how much you like cheese, and I'm going to tell you, with or without cheese, it is good. There's a lot of things you can do with this recipe. You can add uh, beans with it, make a goulash. Um, it's just like, and I'm going to do it in one of my videos, add, um, I make chili and put some noodles in it, some, um,
macaroni in it. And it's great. It's, it's very great. Okay. Mm-hmm. You can taste everything in it. Hmm. Let's do it. It's very good. I'm going to now sprinkle cheese over the top. I blended some in. Now I'm going to just sprinkle some over the top because we like cheese. Alright. Voila. That is my scrambled ground beef an elbow macaroni delight. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a simple recipe to follow and it's a very good. At the bottom again, if you subscribe, like, share, and ring that bell. Every video I come out, it'll let you know. Hey, tea's in the kitchen cooking again. So until the next video, bye.